How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We may have just seen some manipulation. It's really interesting. Uh, Coinbase crashed for the second time right when we're moving into a massive pump and around a key level. I want to talk about that, why you have to get out of Coinbase, at least in some ways. So if you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video to see future videos just like this. And to be clear, I'm not telling you to get out of crypto. No, no, make sure that you're not a thumbnail investor. Make sure that you watch past the first 30 seconds in videos this bull run because the alpha is really in the meat of the video. As you can see here, crypto is doing extremely well. Bitcoin is moving back above 67,000. If you actually were watching really closely here, we had a bit of a dip. So this is the one hour. We went from 67.5 down to 66. And this is normal, right? Whenever we see big price movements, we're gonna see this. But the weird thing was, this happened right when Coinbase crashed again. Some users experienced latency across Coinbase and several, or a few they say, but I'm sure thousands and tens of thousands, saw zero balance. This happened last week on a massive pump. And this kind of killed the pump last week, at least for the that time, of course, there's insatiable, insatiable demand right now, so it doesn't last long. But this did slow down the price movement. Now today, this happened, and within minutes, we fell under 67K down to 66K. It's almost like BlackRock is sitting there saying, hey, people are buying too much. We can see your volume. Can you just turn off for a little bit, right? We want to buy a little bit more. I know it sounds it sounds like a conspiracy, but you know I've seen crazier things. So let's let's go through what's happening in the market again. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you can see future videos just like this one. And in case in case this wasn't enough to really jog your brain here, you should not just have Coinbase. Like they say, not your keys, not your crypto. Keep the majority of your long term bag somewhere else. But if you don't have multiple exchanges that you can use, you're gonna miss out on this next bull run because there's gonna be extreme volatility and multiple places are gonna crash. Um, now, the exchanges that I'm about to talk about did not crash. A couple good alternatives for you. Margex, in case you wanna trade on leverage, you can use the link underneath the video. This is a great platform. They're really uh, quick at responding in case you have any questions. There's also a link down there to Blowfin. They have a bunch of trading pairs there's also a link to CoinW. This is something that I just started with last week, but you can buy spot crypto, which is really nice. So there's a link to CoinW. I know Crypto Banter talks about it, DaVinci talks about it, and uh, works with them. There's a link to all those underneath the video. Also a link to Prime XBT if you want like a little bit of an older exchange. I believe they've been around uh, since 2017, I wanna say. So definitely check out those links. Like you should have multiple wallets set up, multiple exchanges that you use for spot, for off ramps, on ramps, uh, for trading, all that kind of stuff. And it's only gonna get worse from here, like in terms of volatility. Uh, we see just a massive amount of volume going through Coinbase. This is daily perps volume. It's hitting over 500 million in a day. Like th there are more people also signing up to Coinbase. There are a lot of people trading on Coinbase. They're printing money right now. They are absolutely printing money and they're just not ready for this kind of extreme, uh, I don't know, volatility and the amount of users they have. Like they said that they they tested and they should be able to handle 10 times the amount of normal uh, like activity on the app. And this blew that away. This was last week. So whatever happened today, uh, they're having a hard time with how many people are downloading the app, trying to use it, uh, selling, buying, all that kind of stuff. Now, when I checked mine, it worked. It, it showed the right the right amount of uh, crypto in there and money in there. But yeah, you need other things set up. You should not be a Coinbase only investor this next bull run. If you want to be a Coinbase only investor, just stick to Bitcoin and buy an ETF somewhere else. You need to make sure that you have other things set up. Now, maybe you, you don't really care. But remember, during the top of the bull run, when you should probably be taking profits, this could happen again. And you want to make sure that you do not get stuck, especially if there's some news like so-and-so just sold or something. You want to make sure that you're not one of the people that has no liquidity, that you're just frozen out. Now, this is interesting. The time it took Bitcoin to double after previous 
uh, breaks of all-time highs. December of 2020, it only took 18 days. I mean, think about that. If that happens again, let's say we hit an all-time high tomorrow. That means by the 23rd of March, we could be at $140,000 Bitcoin. That's nuts. Uh, March 2017, 84 days. November 2013, 10 days. March uh, 2013, 18 days. Like usually we have explosive moves. Now we are left translated a little bit, meaning we are moving higher earlier in the cycle. But when you look at how much people are paying to short, like people are paying a lot to short Bitcoin miners and Bitcoin ETFs. This is also happening in other places as well. Uh, like in the crypto market, people are paying a lot to short uh, all the way around and it's not paying off. They're getting wrecked and this is causing the price to have explosive moves to the upside. We could continue to see this. We know certain YouTubers have talked about covering their short around 70K. So we could see an explosive move up and with how much buying is happening, I would not be surprised if if we continue to see stair steps up. You can see bullish momentum still showing on the one hour. This is um, thanks to HG Algo, which there's a link to this too underneath the video, but it basically shows bullish momentum on the one hour. Let's take a look at the 15 minute. Also sh showing bullish momentum on the 15 minutes. Let's look at a bigger time frame. Uh, I think we just need to look at the one day here. One day bullish momentum. Yeah, no matter how you slice it, we're in a very bullish time for cryptocurrency. And altcoins are running now too. Like Ethereum up at 3,600. And this is underperforming, underperforming versus Bitcoin on the seven day, on the 24 hour. Uh, this this is gonna run like mad, especially ahead of the ETF narrative, ahead of the Ding Kun upgrade. Like I added to a long position just this weekend because I think this is gonna be a huge narrative and we continue to see such strong buy volume on so uh, on, on Bitcoin from so many ETFs. And yeah, it might be a record day. Let me actually pull up the volumes right now to see where we're at. Okay, iBit's at $1.8 billion in volume. And I don't remember exactly what the record was, but this is well above some of the other ETFs that are really popular, like VOO, which is Vanguard's S&P 500. Uh, this is also, uh, Beto, way up there on the list. Let's look for GBTC. GBTC at 1.1 billion. So there's definitely a lot of volume. There could be some big selling from GBTC, but like I've said in the past, that's not necessarily a bad thing because if this is coming from Genesis, Genesis is selling GBTC and going and buying Bitcoin to give back to creditors. So they could be selling a billion dollars and then going and buying a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. So this could just be net buying it, like just take out GBTC almost completely. And then that is actually what's being added to the Bitcoin stacks out there. So this is a crazy time. Get ready, um, get everything in a row. Make sure that you have your strategies. Make sure that you are agile. Make sure that you can deal with apps going down, with certain centralized entities going down. Now keep in mind too, this is all happening on a day where the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, it's not even performing well. Of course, like NVIDIA is up like every single day, it seems like it's up, but uh, Tesla is down like 6%, Google's down a few percent too. Like this is not a great day for markets. This isn't macro. This is asset specific. This is specific to the cryptocurrency space. Now, of course, don't get drunk with greed. Really, the only people that lose in a Bear mar in a bull market are the people that are too greedy, right? Make sure that you're not trying to time exact bottoms or tops. Make sure you're just happy along the way. I don't necessarily think it's a time to take profit. As I said before, we could see a drop. We could see a drop, but I'm not trying to time that. Even if there's a 20% drop, okay? I get 20% more crypto if I can time it perfectly. But what if I miss it? Then I miss out on the next two, three, five X. I'm not willing to take that bet. Let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. If you haven't hit subscribe already, please hit subscribe. We're close to 270,000 subscribers, and I appreciate that. Uh, kind of a vanity metric, but it does help out the channel. Also, there are links underneath the video, like I said, to those different exchanges. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think about Coinbase crashing again. Is this a crash, or do you think it's a crash? Do you think it's on purpose or not? Thank you so much. I appreciate it.